Hi guys and welcome. My name is Inez and today I'll be doing your mid-month uh, love reading. So please keep in mind that these are general love readings so I cannot or will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. If it applies, then I would love to read your comments down below. I also want to let you know that as of right now, I'm offering a pre-holiday special. So you guys help me reach a thousand subscribers and you will receive a free a uh, free weekly reading for one month okay by me okay and all you have to do is just subscribe and email me showing proof that you did subscribe and show me give me your and enter your name and a good contact number for me to be able to reach you so like that will enter you into the raffle into the drawing and also to my current subscribers I can't leave you guys out neither so what I want you guys to do I want you to share my channel with either friends or family and when they subscribe you will send email me showing proof that they subscribe give me their name and your name as well so like that I could enter you into the joy just as well and again I will need a good contact number for me to be able to reach you okay so this is for one for one month you'll receive a weekly reading okay now Let's get started with your reading. Now, I already shuffle your cards off camera for the sake of time, which, of course, I always do. But I'll shuffle them one more time for you guys. And happy birthday, Libras! Happy birthday! Uh, let's see, here we go. Please tell me about Libra in love for now to the ending of October 2019. Please tell me about Libras in love from now to the ending of October 2019. Please tell me about Libras in love from now to the ending of October 2019. Here we go. Please tell me about Libras. Libras. Please tell me about Libra's in love from now to the end of October 2019. Please tell me about Libra's in love from now to the end of October 2019. Please tell me about Libra's in love from now to the end of October 2019. Here we go. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Ace of Wands. Okay. And we have here, get these things together. We have the Temperance. We have the Seven of Swords. The King of Wands. The Tower. And the uh, Five of Pentacles. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. Okay, so right off the back, I'm seeing that there could be some type, somebody here could be cheating. Things are on, things are being imbalanced. Someone is being imbalanced. Someone is, things are imbalanced, period. There could be some cheating here, some lying, some deceitful. And there was a, someone had a tower moment, or there's going to be a tower moment. They probably haven't had, the tower moment probably hasn't taken place yet. And someone's feeling left out now in the cold. And then we have the king of wands here right in the center. So this king of wands, he's a passionate person, very ambitious. He's ready at all times. And he's also a husband, but he's a very passionate king. And what I'm getting here that there was something came out into the open with the tower here and 
with the lying and the cheating and the sneakiness, someone got left out in the cold. They're probably, you guys are probably not communicating. There's probably a separation. You know, no longer, uh, the connection is not no longer there. But <clears throat> let's find out what's going on. Let's clarify this here. Okay. Let's see. Let's find out with the Seven of uh, Swords first. Give me more information on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here for you? More information on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here for you? More information on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Give me more information on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Okay. So we have, let's see. We have the Five of Pentacles again. We got Justice and the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups, she came out in reverse. So somebody took back their love. And again, we got the scales. We got Temperance here. You see? Balancing. There's a balancing act going on right here. And then we got the Justice here with the, with the scales as well. Balancing things out here. And somebody's being left out in the cold because, like I said, someone... This Queen of Cups, she took back her love. She took back her cup. She's, she's now, she's not giving, she, she's not giving you the cup any anymore. She's not offering her cup. And but there's gonna be justice here. This could have been. Uh, somebody needs to try and make things right here, but somebody's feeling left out in the cold. Somebody's being left out in the cold here, and looks like you guys are no longer talking. There's a separation here. It could have been an actual marriage, because we got justice here. So it could this could be a legal separation or divorce. And somebody now is feeling left out. They could, it could like I said, this King of Wands, he's also a husband. He's a husband as well. So there could have been a divorce here. It could have been a divorce here. Someone took back their cup. Now the other person is fully, is fully abandoned. Left out. It looks like this could have been a divorce. Let's find out about the King of Wands. Please give me more information on this King of Wands. Why is this King of Wands here? Please give me more information. Give me information on this King of Wands. Why is this King of Wands here? Give me information on this King of Wands. Give me information on this King of Wands. Give me information on this King of Wands. Give me information on this King We got the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords, she cuts out people. She cuts things out. And we got the Knight of Swords. And look, the hair font in reverse. So this could have been a divorce here. This could have been a divorce or a legal separation. Because we have the hair font here in reverse. Where basically somebody here is... They're challenging that status quo. Of commitment. Of being in a relationship. They're challenging that. It's like, why do we got to be together? Why do we have to have labels here? Why can't we just be two people together that like spending time with each other? Why do we have to have a label for it? And that's what this person is doing. They, This is what the person is doing with their hair front in reverse. They're challenging the status quo. And... The Queen of Swords, she cuts people out of her life because she doesn't deal with nobody's BS. So this could have been a, a legal separation. And we got the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords, he looks kind of upset. He looks kind of mad. I'm not sure if you're able to see it. But he looks kind of upset. He looks mad. So either you or them, Libra, took back, got, 
took back your cup. You guys are not separated. You're not communicating. I'm not getting you guys are communicating. There was there, there was some lying and cheating, and once the lying and cheating came out in the open, somebody got kicked out of the house. Somebody got kicked out of the house. Point blank and simple. That's the reason why they're feeling abandoned now in the street. Feeling abandoned, well, you know, they could be on the street. I don't know. But that's the reason why. Because somebody got kicked out of the house. Somebody, either you or them, got kicked out of the house. There was some lying, cheating going on here. You guys were living. Looks like this was a household situation. And somebody was stepping out in a relationship or marriage. And they ended up getting caught. And they got put out. Simple as that. And the other person, the one that caught the other person cheating, that person, sh she's not, or he, don't have time for this. The Queen of Swords, they don't have time for this. They cut people out. They're not dealing with this any any longer. Because it looks like it was going, it's been going on for a while. Because we have the temperance in the past position. So this has been going on for a while. Where things have been in balance. So this has been going on for quite some time now. Let's see what this tower is all about. Please give me more information on this tower. Why is this tower here? Please give me more information on this tower. Please give me more information on the tower. Please give me more information on the tower. Okay, so now we got the Three of Pentacles, so somebody want to work on this. That was a time moment. We got the Queen of uh, Queen of Wands or Rods, and then we got the Death, the Ending. So somebody now, so it looks like somebody here went through a transformation. There was a transformation here because now somebody wants to work, uh, wants to work with you. They want to cooperate now. They want to uh, try to make things right. They want to balance things out. They want to cooperate, make adjustments, whatever adjustment needs to be made. They want to do it. If they have to go to couples counseling, they're willing to do it. But they want to come back in. Because they, cause they had, this person either had a tower moment or the tower moment is going to happen. It hasn't happened yet, but this person has went through a transfer, uh, 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 transformation, and now they want to come back in and work things out with you because they find you to be very attractive. They think you're very attractive. For the Queen of Wands here, they find you to be very attractive, ambitious. They think that you know you're very creative. And they like the fact that you're a person, that you're bold, you're strong, you're independent. And they love that about you. So them having that tower moment, that's what caused them to have that transformation. And now, that's why now they want to come in and work with you. Because they're feeling left out. They really are feeling left out, you know, by who, if their person was to get put out, they're feeling left out. They want to come back now. They really are feeling left out here. Let's find out about this Five of Pentacles here. Because they do want a new beginning with you. Please give me more information on this Five of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Five of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Five of Pentacles. Please give me more information. Ah, Please give me more information. That's way too many cards. Here we go. Give me more information on Libra. Give me more information on Libra. Give me more information on Libra. You guys could be dealing with an Aquarius here. I got the world, the star, and the hangman. So like I said, you could be dealing with an Aquarius here with the star. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and a Leo with the world here. 
and you could be like and you could be dealing with air signs i have air sign i have water here cancer pisces scorpio and fire which is sagittarius leo or aries this is what i'm seeing here and i got some pentacles here but this person now they're trying to gain, gain clarity this person as of, as of this moment this is your this is your outcome this person is trying to gain clarity right now with a hangman they're just hanging there trying to gain clarity because they want this new beginning with you they want a new beginning because you are a wish fulfillment but at the same time this relationship needs to heal or marriage it has to heal because we also have a temperance card here the temperance is also healing so this needs this marriage or relationship needs to heal first you need to heal as first as well before you're able to have this new beginning because you don't want to start a new beginning you still feeling wounded you don't want to have a new beginning because then you're going to bring up those past memories and every time you get into argument you're going to want to throw things in a person's face so you have to heal. This whole entire situation needs to heal for you to have this passionate new beginning here. So we had, like I said, at the bottom of the deck, we had the Ace of Wands because this was a new beginning. Because they want a new beginning with you. Either you want a new beginning with them or they want a new beginning with you. That's your, dis your decision, Libra, on how you're going to go about it. But healing must take place before this new beginning happens. You must heal as first. You must heal first. Okay? Let's get your uh, love advice reading. Why are you wearing a wedding dress? Why are you okay. Retreat. Seek and receive consolation from God to overcome a difficult experience. This is a time for reflection, solitude, and contemplation. Here you go. Okay, Libra, so this is all I have for you guys. You guys have yourself a good night, and I will see you guys again for your weekly readings, okay? Bye, Libras, and also don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.